Hey guys, this is Zola from Celebrity TV. Hey, what's up fam? This is Busy B. Hey Zola, what do we got today? Well, Sam Wallace, which is Mendeezy's baby's mother, was attacked at the Love and Hip Hop New York reunion. Wow, so is that going to air soon? Yes, it'll be airing soon. We'll let you know the date. Okay. Reports say that Love and Hip Hop New York's cast member, Sam Wallace, was viciously attacked during the season's reunion show on January 18th taping. Wow. Now, who attacked her? A woman in the audience. Wait a minute. A woman from the audience came up on stage? Yeah, she did. She made that's... it past security. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. You know that Sam was introduced to Love and Hip Hop as being the mother of Mendeecey Harris' son. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's pretty. Yeah, she is. And she was reportedly jumped by an audience member at the show's reunion. Police confirmed that the incident occurred around 5 p.m. on January 18th inside 515 West 57th Street. And according to reports, one female audience member somehow made it past security, got on stage and attacked Sam, punching mm -hmm. her repeatedly. Okay. And the alleged attacker got a couple of hits in before she was removed from the set. Okay. And Sam's makeup had to be redone to hide her bruises. Wow. And some reports say that the woman was linked to Yandy. Wow. You know, that's just according to some reports. And other reports that the woman was arrested. Okay, okay. And well, if she did that, you know, you can understand that. Yeah, and police, police was on the scene. Okay. Um, That's a scandal, I tell you. Yeah, it is. We don't know whether this is going to air or not. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, because you know how the reunion is. Sometimes they air some things, sometimes they don't. Right, right. But Sam reportedly said she may be leaving the reality series because she was so scared. Wow. And the insider told sources that she's scared to even film Love and Hip Hop again because she might get attacked by some random fan. She's hmm. scared. She puts her life out there every day for the world to see and never thought she'll be viciously harmed. Wow. That's kind of heavy. Yeah, we hope that she's okay. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I hope she's okay. And that's definitely a scandal. Wow. I'm looking forward to the seeing the reunion and see will they show that. Yeah. Because sometimes they show it, sometimes they Yeah, don't. sometimes they edit stuff out. The yeah. stuff that you hear about that, you know, that went down, yeah. sometimes they edit it out. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Um, former Mindless Behavior member Ray Ray is having a baby with Joe Jackson's great niece. Okay. Okay. Now, Ray Ray, the former Mindless Behavior Group member who left the group in September 2015 to pursue a solo career, is expecting his first child with girlfriend Jamia Sutherland, who is Joe Jackson's great niece. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He announced it on Instagram, sharing a sonogram with the caption, A Touch of Love. Wow. I find it interesting when uh, show business folk, you know, get together and, you know, have a relationship. I find that very, very interesting. Or the relatives mm -hmm. of show business people get together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is interesting. So I find that interesting. Wow. I guess you know what? I guess you're usually attracted to the people who company you're in. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess, you know, when you're in show business and you're in the company of other people who are in show business as well as their family members. Oh, okay. Okay. I could see that. I could definitely yeah. see that. Now, Jamia is from Joe's side of the family, and she was formerly seen out socially with her cousin and Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris okay. Jackson. And they even look kind of similar, them too. Okay. They kind of look alike. All right, cool. Well, yeah. I hope everything works out for them. Yeah, I hope so, too. That's cool. All right, what else we got? Justin Bieber. Now, okay. Justin Bieber criticized The Weeknd's music. Why did he do that? Well, he criticized them on camera, calling his music whack. This oh, the weekend music is not why. No, it's not at all. It's not why. Not at all. He's very unique. He's a very unique artist. And he has a great voice. Yes, yes. And I don't think Justin Bieber is that much of a better singer if he's better than Weekend at all. Some people feel that Weekend sings better. Right. I don't think Justin Bieber excels the Weekend in ability for to be calling his music why. Well, here's a reason for it. We'll get to it in a second. All right. What's the reason? This comes in the wake of reports that his ex, Selena Gomez, 
It's dating the weekend. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Throwing stones, okay. Yeah, throwing stones. Okay, throwing stones. Well, that explains a lot right yeah. there. I heard the rumor that they was um, dating, but I didn't know for sure. And well, actually, I heard that they were seen together. I think we did an earlier story right, that, that they, they were, were seen together, but it wasn't verified whether they was actually, you know, dating, dating or not. not. So now you're saying that it's been verified. Yeah. Well, it's been confirmed. Yes, according to reports. Okay. The All weekend right. made headlines earlier this month when reports said that he's dating Selena Gomez. Okay. Of course, Bieber's ex-girlfriend. Okay. Now, TMZ uploaded footage of paparazzi asking Bieber if he could listen to The weekend's music. Bieber replied, hell no. I can't listen to a weekend song. That so-and-so is whack. Hey, oh you God, dropped something. Guy's hey, man, I gotta ask you, man, real quick. Wait, can you listen to a weekend song? If Hell it comes no, on, I can't listen to a weekend song. You can't? Why not? That's just whack. Is it? Oh, that's crazy, man. Hey, you guys have a good night. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I guess, uh, what did they say? I guess Justin Bieber's chewing on sour grapes, huh? Sour graping, they call it. Yeah, he's sour graping. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, Inside explained that The Weeknd's music speaks for itself. He doesn't need Justin's approval for anything. No, not at he all. He really doesn't want to be in a love triangle and doesn't want any drama or hate coming from Justin. Okay. He likes Selena. He's completely into her. And like he's moved on from his former girlfriend, Bella Hadid, she's moved on from Justin. Wow. All right. Well, I want to see will this relationship thing work between the weekend and Selena Gomez. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I guess we'll hear more about it. Yeah. But adding more to that, the weekend didn't appreciate the diss, but okay. he's going to let it slide this time. Yeah. Well, you know what? He's mature. Yeah. He's a mature brother, and you know he's just trying to enjoy his uh, new relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling him on that. Yeah. I'm definitely, definitely. Uh, what else we got? On another note, speaking of Bieber. He reportedly auctioned off his blue Ferrari for 400000 Okay. So somebody purchased it? Yes. Okay, cool. And the statement says that I had it for roughly two years now. It was my first Ferrari. I have to say goodbye to my baby. I'm going to leave a pair of my old Calvins in there. Wow. So he left a pair of jeans so in there. So he made a little profit too, yeah. huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. What else we got? Well, that's about it for right now. All right, then. All right, fellas, um, let's see what happens between The weekend and Selena Gomez. Yeah. You never know. This could be a strong relationship. Uh, also, let's look forward to Love and Hip Hop Reunion to see that this scene of an audience member attacking one of the cast members. Let's see, does it make the editing floor? Let's see, do they definitely air it? All right. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Busy B. I'm Zola. And we're Celebrity TV, and we out. One.